So, you're new to the game Space Engineers, or you're looking at buying it, you just want to know a bit more about the game mechanics before you get it. My name is Endar, and I'll be showing you how to build a very basic ship. I'll be teaching you some of the basic game mechanics, the basic things you need to build a ship, and everything basic about the game. Okay, so let's get started. Now the first thing you need to do to build a ship is you need to open the toolbar selection menu. This can be done by pressing G. Now you need to get a, s a lighter armor block to build the framework of your ship. You can build a platform on which to build your essentials of the ship. You can get more variants of the block using the scroll wheel. I'll be using light armor slopes to make sure it doesn't look too blocky. If you need to delete blocks, press the right click. Now you might see that this is getting a bit boring, placing them on every side of the ship. So, what you can do is press M to open the symmetry selection menu. Cycle that until you get the one you want. Place that down using left click. Then press it again until your cycles back to the blocks. You can then use this to place the rest of the blocks on your ship. And you can use the insert, home, page up, delete, end, and page down keys to rotate the blocks. So now what your ship needs is a reactor to make power. We'll get a big one because it provides a lot of power since we're going to be using a lot bigger thrusters for this one. And so now I'll get some thrusters. Now these ones are a bit small, so we'll scroll that until I get a bigger version. And so we'll place these on the sides of the ship. In between these we'll place some more small ones by scrolling it again. And then we'll place another big one at the very end. Now here we'll place some smaller ones by going up and down. Now you may just notice we've got thrusters in all directions. This is so we can move all ways. And so now what you need to do is cover cover this all with armor. You don't need to cover things with armor, just it makes it look a lot better. It also means if you ever get in a fight with weapons that we're covering in the next episode, it means that you're able to survive a lot longer. See with the symmetry mode is being placed on both sides. This is very useful when building big ships, like this one I built over here. And now if you want, you can place another two big thrusters here. This will give you a lot of power. Whoops. We'll just leave that there. That happens sometimes. So now we've got the basic ship done, we'll need to build the interior. We'll make it go up a bit, the interior. Just we're not squishing it all in this big space here. Because it's nice to have a small, cozy interior. And so now I'll make some holes on the sides here for the doors. We'll go into the G menu once again, and then we'll have a look at the doors. If you can't find it, you can type it in the search menu up here. And look at that, we found the sliding doors. Now we can get that there, and we can scroll through the two different types of sliding doors. The regular door, and the sliding door. We'll be using the sliding door for this one. And now we need to place some more blocks to the floor. And if you want to place some blocks really quickly, Press shift and control and drag. Now we'll need the, the most important part of a ship, control stations. And they actually allow you to control the ship. You may have been noticing that when I'm selecting a block, it goes instantly to the menu. That's by using the right click. And so I'll get some windows to place on the windows of the ship. 
He's allowed us to see us while being protected from space. You can press zero to deselect any blocks you've got selected already. And after the interior, you might want some l small lights to go in the interior so you can light up. And they can see things. And so that's the basic ship done. Oh wait, we've forgotten something. Gyroscopes. Gyroscopes allow your ship to turn. There. We'll just place them inside here. You can really place them anywhere, as long as they work. And so there we've got our ship done. It's an extremely basic ship, and we'll go some over some better ways to build ships in the future. But this is an alright ship, it goes quite well. It's just extremely fast. This is actually one of the fastest ships I've built so far. And it's got a nice interior. You can have a look inside by pressing V. And so that's just done. I'll be going over a more complex ship and building one of them in the next episode. We'll be showing you features like the conveyor systems and weapons and how they can be used. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back later.